All right, everybody, this is our yard sale haul. So before we get into it, we paid $17 for everything you're going to see. Everything you're going to see. All right, so I love oil lamps. So look at this crazy looking oil lamp. These are all very old oil lamps. Look at how big that is. Heavy, very, very heavy. Heavy duty, and they're stable with the size of the bases. Yep, and thick, you, that's thick glass. Oh, real thick. And you can grab it here so you can walk amongst the house or go in that room to room so you're not straddling the tank where you can just grab the base and have a firm grip like this one. You get a Ruga grip on it. I mean, that's thick glass. He had quite the collection. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did. And I got a couple mason jars, which I'm going to wash. Okay, Chris is going to show you some things. And this bag here, I saw this on the ground. I wasn't thinking anything of it, and then I got a closer look at it. Two dollars oh. he wanted for this bag. It was a two dollar Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He was selling everything for two dollars. I got side pockets. Upgrading the bug out bag from a small one to a bigger one. Field line tactical. And I got your waist support straps, chest straps. It's sturdy, it's heavy duty bag. And got little openings here for uh, camel pack. It's on this side here where you can put a water pouch with a straw in it. Two bucks. Two bucks. And I got this, which was weird to find, which is. True spec, military pouch style, gun cleaning kit. Got the brushes, lubricant. Cleaning brush. And your rods for uh, getting down inside the barrel in the chamber. Two All bucks for that, there. too. Two bucks. And these are a rarity. You'd be lucky to find these in a surplus store. If you can. So, in the beginning, you said two bucks for everything. And then at the end, he said $17. So, you figure out what he charged for everything. But I think $17 was a damn good deal for all these lanterns. Yeah. And I'm going to clean them all up. And I would like to put one on top of that stand over there when I get it finally cleaned off, but we'll see. Very but I'm going to clean out. these all up and uh, put them with our my others. Like over here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I have one more in the in the in the bathroom, but those are all my oil lamps. I keep them up there. That way I know where they are. I also keep one in the bathroom. Look at that. Thick, thick glass. This one stays here. That way, uh, if we have a powder outage like we have in the past, when we had the lightning strike, we have one already in the bathroom. So, 90% of the stuff I have for this house, we've gotten secondhand. <laughs> Literally, this table and chairs was here when we moved in. They left it. But I don't really ever see, because that sticks from all the... It has since we bought this house, so I just leave it like that. But hit, your, hit up your yard sales, guys, because you never know what you're going to find. Chris was in a really good mood after that one. Okay, I could I could have probably got, I could have probably got him to go to 10 more yard sales at that point, but I didn't dare push it. We were on a time frame. I know. But Who look at... more important? I have a lot... Of brand new wicks I bought. I have a lot of fuel stored away. 
Um, I actually store the fuel in these mason jars. I have a whole two cases downstairs of mason jars that I put fuel in. I don't like keeping them in the plastic buckets that they come in. I keep them in the jars. So, ready to hit up some more yard sales? <laughs> we have the money, we're down. I love it. I, I'm glad we got those. Jack can't even knock that one over. But this one just really, this is the first one that I caught I like my that. eye. I can't wait to get it all, all new wicks in some of these and get them running. I have to get a new globe for this one, but, and I have another one over there that needs a globe. But you can always find those at the thrift stores. So, yard seals too. So I like gonna, how this one's got lines in it, if you look real close. It's got decorative lines in it. Yeah. Who knows how old these are? They look quite old. But they're heavy. They're heavy and thick glass. It's not this puny glass. So, go to yard sales, guys! She's losing help. 